Word, WMG, Weapons Mask, Gaming, but you on the mic, but you on the sticks, checking in some ranked RuneScape pile here, uh, just been playing a lot of ranked lately with this deck, I finally got it tweaked and twonked how I want it, how I like it, uh, it's by far and away my best pool, um, wow, what an opening grip, this is why this, this deck is just almost unbeatable i wish it was an un unbeatable but it's not i mean almost it is so close to being unbeatable i'm i'm losing maybe one in every 10 matches it's such a good deck but yeah i want to i want to showcase it for you the last time that you guys saw this deck was uh when jt was playing it and uh tweaked out a few cards here and there made it better um i get nighthawk every single opening grip every single game every game and if i don't have an opening grip i draw it within the first three turns so i can play it on curve it's just wow and then i draw the essence scatter not that there's any turn twos from old uh raid darkos that i'm gonna scatter but uh he's playing black oh geez uh first strike pro white not worth scattering but of course um black's turn three is probably the best turn three in the game because of either hippie nighthawk i mean there's so many good options there um i could take two damage hold for the essence scatter and hope he plays nighthawk Or I could just play Giant Scorpion and then play Nighthawk in response to his. At some point, get the Void Stalker down, bounce his Nighthawk. Um, I'm just going to play Scorpion. I'm going to hold the Essence Scatter because I have an answer for his Nighthawk with Nighthawk. Um, if, I, if I'm not drawing Rune Scarred or I'm not drawing land, then I can clone Nighthawk as well. Um... Otherwise, I'm, I'm either going to want to spend Nighthawk right here on Essence, or Essence Scatter on Nighthawk right here, which he didn't play, so that worked out best for me. Um, now I'm going to want to save Essence Scatter for late game. I want a nice rip. Yeah, we'll definitely get Nighthawk down here. See if he has... Uh, I mean, if he has the... The murder, that's fine. I've got three, um... Shit, I can attack. I've got three grave diggers to deal with that, so I'm good. The old puppet master, Raid Darkos. I wonder if he's, uh, related to Donnie Darko. Oh, the Battle of the Bruise Piles. Battle of the Bruise Piles. Look at you go. You're going to get two damage in with your sleep. That was a pretty rookie move there, man. I, I save sleep for uh, endgame. I like to win the game with sleep. And if I'm not going to win the game with sleep, then I want to have a Scroll Thief out so I can... draw a card off of it at the very least at the very least I need that second island that's going to be an issue soon if I don't draw it but yeah basically with this deck as long as I can get a, a scorpion a nighthawk down early game um, I'm recording speezy I gotta wait dog hey what happened to that halo montage you were supposed to send me by the way um yeah, I just all I have to do is stall out until I get to um hmm. Well, I think I'm going to I'm going to discard Void Stalker because I have more Grave Diggers than I do Archaeomancers. I have a better shot of getting Void Stalker back than I do Essence Scatter. Plus I next turn I want to let's see, he's got 5, so 6. I want to have Essence Scatter open for when he drops his tits money just in case word 
just gonna chill back. See what he do, see what he got. Alright, well he doesn't have six, so no tits this turn. No nightmare this turn. Of course he could drop Gin of Wishes this turn. There's a lot of five and six drops. That's what I always save my essence scatter for. Uh, Sun Gear Vampire, that makes the cut. That makes the cut. Even if he was attempting to suck it out there, which he did. Um, I don't want that on the board. I would have to trade. Right on time. See, I'm saving Clone until I have Rune Scarred out. You know, or he plays something big. Um, Clone's just too good to hold on to. Um... Yeah, I'm going to go get that Void Stalker. I don't have... Uh, I only have one murder in this deck, so all my removal is at a premium. Void Stalker is valuable in this pile. But he's nice if you can play him turn two, get a couple beats in with him before you have to, before you have to uh, tap him and shuffle him. Nighthawk. I need to draw some more land here. There we go. I'm one way one away from Rune Scarred, which I'm going to draw at some point. Otherwise, I'm just gonna chill back. I don't need to attack. I'm gonna play my Voidbringer. got pretty similar sides here we're in a little Mexican standoff no need to waste clone if he wants to bring Nighthawk I'm gonna let him through and assassinate him that guy does not scare me I do not run the merfolk warrior maritime guard whatever okay now I got my my rune scarred money. I just gotta draw it now. Um, let's get a little offensive here. Let's do some work. Play your bomb, son. Play your bomb. So I can clone it and then assassinate it. Mo murder, mo murder, mo murder. Nothing worth murdering out there. I'm just going to chippy chipperoo away with this Nighthawk until he does something about it. Well, it looked like he was going to murder it there, but uh, just let her go. This guy doesn't have any answers for me. This is just my mid-game bullshit. I haven't even gotten going with my rune scards and fucking rise from the graves and all that shit that this deck normally does. Oh, there's one of the one of the staples. All right, what do I have? Seven. Word. No threats out there. I'm sorry, raid Darkos. Donnie Darkos, fuck this game. Hey, there's that murder. Normally I go get clone and rune scarred, but I already have clone, so... I already have my one and only lonely murder. No point in getting two rune scarred. Because I can just go get another rune scarred with my rune scarred. 
So my other one is going to be sleep, I guess. Yeah, I'll get rune scarred with rune scarred, and I'll get sleep with this because uh, it's probably the best coup de gras in the game. Some people run a lot of frost breath, but I don't know. I prefer sleep because it targets the player, not the creatures. And uh, you don't have to deal with the hexproof issues or swift boots. I've gotten burned too many times trying to play frost breath. And, you know, sometimes they have three, four, five creatures out there, and you need to tap them all down. No attacks. Drop me a demon. Go get the other one. And then with this one, I'll go get Rise from the Grave. Because he's probably going to kill um, Runescard at some point. Somehow, some way. Oh, maybe he has a Moda. Momoda, Momoda, Momoda. Uh, he's very proud of himself. He has answers. He just doesn't realize that the train has already started rolling downhill. You know, how, no matter how hard he pushes back on it, that train is coming, baby. It is coming. He already used his clone. Oh, Marcus Vampire, look at you go. He's going to get in a beat with that before I can murder it. Unsummon. Okay. Okay. Got to do what you got to do, bud. Be creative. Get some of that life back. Making it a match. Okay. Um I'm blocked there. I'll take the three. I'm at 26. I ain't I can't sweating it, dog. Look at this guy. And make me work for this. Now I have to think. Now he's got removal for rune scarred. I've already spent my diabolic to go search through my pile. I don't have a Kaomancer yet. All right, so I'm not dropping Rune Scarred. I am, however, I do need to take care of this thief and his Mark of the Vampire. I want him to spend that Void Stalker rather than, I want him to spend it on, I'm gonna try and suck it out, get him to tap and flap it before I play my rune scarred. Two cards in hand. All right, now he's making me work for this, damn it. I thought I had this one in the bag. Oh, he's tempted to tap this right now. He's tempted. Ooh, I'm glad one of those was a land. Oh, he is going to tap it. Ah, oh, muy bueno. Muy bueno. Get in there, kid. Get in there. Yeah, that worked out well for me. That's exactly what I needed him to do. Word. Um, let's rise from the grave. There she is. All right, has this guy got any more murders left? How many has he spent? Two? Oh, he's looking for one. He could get an unsummon. Of course, unsummon's bad against Rune Scarred. Oh, he played his own Rune Scarred. Look at you go, big doggy. Game on. It's a match. It's a match, boys. 
We got some demon on demon action going on here. Shit. So first things first. Oh, boy, there's a lot I could do here. I have 10 mana. I can do anything I want. Uh, clones only four, rise is five. I can sleep, smash, rise, sleep, smash. Clone. I can murder smash, clone, murder smash, rise. Um, I like sleep better right now because he could always go go get. Well, but it slows him down. Let's just murder this foo. Murder that foo. So, I guess, I mean, he has two cards in hand. To be safe, I do have to worry about him having Essence Scatter in hand in the future if I if I play Clone. Like, I can play Rise from the Grave anytime. He can't do anything about that. So, rather than play Rise now, I want to play Clone because you can't Essence Scatter it. Plus, it costs one less. And I can play my Condor. I kind of want to go get bats. Um, but we're going to get our Kaomancer so we can go get Rise or Murder or whatever it is that we feel like we need. Um, but I feel like with this deck, I always have answers. This is by far and away my best pool. Look at you go, doggy. Look at you go. This motherfucker's playing some magic over here. Shit, son. Make me work for it. Now I do got to go get that murder back. But I just have answers for everything in this pile. Um, what, Wednesday and Thursday I didn't lose with it? I went two straight days without losing. Probably played about 12 to 15 matches. I moved up. I was up to uh, like 165 on the leaderboards. Um, since then, I've lost a few matches. I'm back down into the 200s. But, um, you know, I ran against other badass blue black decks so well there's a lot I could do here but I think the the best way to go about this is just just sleep him out um, he's out of mana oh and he quit let's just do a good old-fashioned little Steve Reno little rune scarred Stevens here some runescape Stevens baby that guy's got a good pool man um he got off to a slow start and he couldn't handle my deck, but that that pool that guy's playing is really good. Um, he had more than he had two clones. He had a rune scarred void stalker. Like that was a good pool I just beat, and it was no sweat with this deck. Like I this rune scarred deck. Like I'm not gonna be playing it that much. It's just too fucking good, man. Like it's another reason I don't understand. I don't understand the cheating in this game. Like shit, there's no need to cheat. You just Buy a couple slots till you get a blue black pool like this. Shit, son. But that guy fought me pretty well. All right, man. Um, I'm gonna head over to Steam, hang out with some of you boys over there, do some recording, and um, I'll have another video for you guys in a little while. Let him out. Word say word, son.